Dear students, today we will discuss about fecundity in feces. How will you define the definition of fecundity? You can see here, the capacity of an individual fish to produce female reproductive cells is known as fecundity. Welcome 967 used fecundity for the number of eggs produced by a mouth breeding cichlid and fertility for the number of eggs produced. Right in Hall, they also used three definitions with the viviparous red fish, Sebastis marinus as prefertilized, fertilized, and larval fecundity. Prefertilized means number of eggs before fertilization in an ovary. Fertilized means number of fertilized eggs in an ovary. Larval fecundity, number of larvae after hatching before estrogen. Jerking 1967 suggested that in a mouth brooding certhrodron, it can be conveniently categorized as ovarian and brooding fecundity. How we identify the egg? There are so many ways. A spawn collected from nature requires the identification of eggs. Such parameters are important at the time of collection. For example, collection at the time of collection, what is the diameter, what is the shape, what is the color, and size of perivital space, distribution and nature of oil droplet, etc. These are the factors on which we can identify the eggs. In the examination of the embryo stages in the eggs, they are treated with a mixture of glycyl acetic acid and sodium chloride. This makes the cell transparent and embryos appearing white in colored yolk. These eggs are preserved by keeping them in temperate formalin containing glycyl acetic acid or hydrogen peroxide. In many feces, the small eggs remain in the ovary after spawning and are gradually reabsorbed. The number of eggs reserved after spawning varies with the age. For example, in carp, the number of reserved eggs in greater is youngster in compared with middle-aged and older ones. You can see the length of in centimeter, and this is the percentage of small eggs. The faculty is a quality of a species which ensures high rate of inter-species competition and more rapid rate of evolution. Then the species with higher fecundity have a greater battery potentiality. Then what are the groups of fecundity? The facet differing in the value of index and their adoption capacity to various rates of consumption by predators. Group first, we can say they are having fecundity from 1 to 10. Some fishes such as Sturgeon, then the Corrigon, Corgonus, they adapt to a relatively low rate of predation. Fecundity 10 to 50, these fishes like pie fish, you all might have heard about the pie fish and added forms having a competitive predation. When you talk about the group third, the faces are adapted to considerable mortality, for example, white face. In each species, the individual and species faculty is subjected to a great variation primarily related to the variation in size of the face. Then what are the types of faculty? We can say here the one is the individual faculty. How do you measure the faces measured and weight? The ovaries are taken and weighed. The sample of 10 or 15 grams is taken out from the ovary. The eggs in the samples are counted, counted under a low-powered microscope. Number of eggs are multiplied by the weight of ovary. Then the end of the faculty continues, we can say, different size of ovary, average count is taken. If you talk about the sunfish, the mola mola, it produces large number of eggs. A 54 pound fish of this kind is said to produce such amount of eggs in a single season. Fulton estimated the link contains the large number of eggs. The eggs which are looked after are usually few hundreds. The vivid faces are still fewer. The blank keeps 300 young in its ovary at a time. This was the end of the fecundity. When you talk about the relative fecundity, the relative fecundity of a fish denotes the number of eggs per unit weight or length of fish. But for a population, individual and relative fecundity are not always characteristics. The size of population of a species depends on the individual fecundity, the time of sexual maturity, the periodicity and frequency of spawning of the life cycle of the individual. They are the formulae to calculate fecundity. Sevater suggested this formula. Fecundity is to 1 by 1 plus R PGS. He writes the number of eggs laid in one spawn. P is a time period between two successive spawns. J is equal to age of fish at maturity and sex ratio. Jogensil also suggested this formula. Analysis of fecundity and reproduction. 
Fecundity expresses the capacity of fish in terms of egg production per year. Absolute fecundity is defined as the number of eggs in the ovaries of an individual that are ripening for the coming spawning period. This factor is useful for the research studies in taxonomy and for studies on population and, reprodu and production. It is expressed as the number of eggs per unit length or weight of the fish. You can give the example f is equal to n capital G by small g. F here is denotes fecundity, n is equal to number of eggs, g weight of ovary, and small g weight of such sample. What are the methods of estimating fecundity? For counting the number of eggs, the complete ovary is taken out and present in 5% formalin. By the process of water displacement, the volume of ovary is calculated. The ovary is cut into three or more segments, the volume of each segment is determined. By subtracting segment, the volume of other eggs and ovarian tissue from the volume of ovarian segment, the volume of mature egg is calculated. This is the method. Then we count the mature eggs and we have to repeat the process again and again. The, then average count is calculated. Then the number of mature egg per cc and total number of mature eggs in the ovary is found. Nowadays, formula is replaced by modified Gilson's fluid. In this fluid, the ovaries are left for 24 hours or several months. A small ovaries are turned inside out while larger cut in small pieces. After the penetration of fluid, it is washed properly and ovary is shaken well so that the eggs are separated and counted. The Gilson fluid formula is like we can prepare the Gilson formula by using mercury chloride, nitric acid, glycyl acetic acid, alcohol, and water. Counting of laid eggs. Two methods have been given for the counting procedure volumetric method and the one method. What are the factors which affect fecundity? Feeding, density of yolk, size of gonads, ripening of ovary, biological factors, environmental factors, nutrition requirements, digit fishes, and physical disbalance. All these factors, they affect the fecundity. What is the importance of fecundity? Fish fecundity is associated with the studies of natural mortality, racial characters, and total population estimation and assumed economic importance with certain species. Application of fecundity is concerned with the productivity studies. Some workers have calculated total number of pelagic place, eggs, and divided this by the average fecundity to give the number of female parents. Ferron described the differences in fecundities of herring between autumn and spring spawners are probably due to social disease. How we will conclude? It can be concluded the greater the fecundity, the more accurate will be the intraspecific competition. It will lead to the extermination of the old forms and new species will emerge. An increase in the fecundity may lead to its own extermination. In fact, an increase in the fecundity of an individual within the population represents an adaptive response to the population to environmental changes. It does not include any pathological conditions. So, we can conclude an increase in fecundity ensures the preservation and not the examination of the species. It ensures its relative stability both in space and time in the event of fairly wide fluctuations in the environmental condition. I hope you all enjoy the topic. Thank you very much. Thank you.